Team. It's Thursday, rest day for most of us, but if you train on a Thursday, we have a doozy of a workout for you, right? So what we have is four times. We've got 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 reps of toaster bar and the deadlift, okay? So 15 toaster bar, 15 deadlifts, 14 and 14, 13, 13, 12, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 until we've done six and six, okay? So, we know these movements, we'll start with the deadlift first, okay? Essentially all we're doing here is picking the barbell up off the floor, putting it back down again, okay? But we need to do it safely. So that set up position, it's the big hinge of the hips, the big brace with the shoulders, squeezing the abs as tight as we can. So here my shins are almost vertical, chest nice and proud, big gorilla chest, be proud, keep that bar close. I try and bend the bar around my shins, that switches on my lats, okay? So now I'm super braced, everything's nice and tight. I push the floor away with my feet, keep the bar nice and close to me, and we stand tall, squeezing the bum, opening up the hips, opening up the knees, and then we return, slight bend the knees, send the hips back. Keeping the bar close, slight bend of the knees to get to the floor again, back top. And the whole time we're trying to maintain that nice neutral spine, aka flat and safe back. Okay? If you're dead, let's start looking like this guy. Let me start rounding over and our legs up and we should come here. It's too heavy, okay? Take the weight down. There's heaps of reps. Don't be a superhero, okay? Chest nice and proud, bar down nice and close. Stand tall, squeeze the bum, lock up the knees, lock up the hips, back down again, touch, go. The whole time I'm just looking at the horizon roughly, so the skirt will go in front of me, just to keep my head neutral. We don't want to see this move, oh, my neck pops off, okay? Nice flat back, nice strong setup, drive the floor away, stand up tall, back down, keep the bar close, every single rep, okay? That's your deadlift. We pick stuff up and put it down again. Simple. Then we have the toaster bar. So our toaster bar, it's in the name. We're trying to get our toes to touch the bar. We can kick if we have to. If you wanted to, you could go a little bit stricter if we have those, okay? If we don't, we can't get quite the, can't quite get the full range of motion yet. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to bring those knees up into the chest. We can go strict with those. We can also kick these if we have them. Okay? Not quite there yet. Just try and get those knees up as high as you possibly can. Or we've done heaps and heaps of these guys where we get ourselves on the floor and we go for those V ups. That's too much. We go for the chuck up. Exact same stimulus as the toaster bar. Okay, but again, same as the pull-ups from yesterday. If we are worried about tearing our hands, do the first few sets on the rig and then do the rest on the floor. Or if we're worried about not being on the rig for a while, want to look after our shoulders, that's fine. Do the strict version of the knees to chest. That way we're not worrying about adding heaps of momentum and uh, power through our shoulders, that's fine. Or get yourself on the floor and do those V-ups. I argue that V-ups are still harder than a toaster bar. Some people may disagree, but they suck, they're real hard. So a V-up is not the easy option, okay? It's just a slight modification to save your hands, save your shoulders, okay? But again, we're looking to build the strict versions of all these gymnastic skills first to keep healthy, to keep strong shoulders. Okay, so guys, 15 down to 6 of the toaster bar and the deadlift. Have fun with it, get after it, let's go.